ECG is a simple inexpensive test to assess the heart function. ECG will provide the doctor information about the rhythm of the heart whether it is regular or irregular. In addition, it can give an information about the rate whether the rate is normal that is between 50 to 100 or low if it is less than 50 or whether it is high more than 100. In addition, we can see about the heart chambers enlargement and most importantly estimation whether the patient had any heart attack or any reduction in blood supply which can also be found whether it is a new heart attack or a old heart attack. Finally, ECG gives us a reasonable indicator of the pumping efficiency of the heart. ECG remains a simple, inexpensive, yet powerful tool in the management of heart failure. As a cardiologist, I look at the electrocardiogram or ECG to see whether there is any abnormal heart rhythm, most importantly atrial fibrillation, the presence of chamber enlargement, whether it is whether the heart is enlarged or not, including specific chambers also I can see. The most important thing being the width of the QRS complex, if it is more than 150 milliseconds, I advise a special type of pacemaker therapy. I also look at whether this patient had any previous heart attack and finally ECG is a very potent marker to indicate what is the cause of the heart failure whether it is a slow heart rate, fast heart rate, infiltrative disorder, electrophysiological abnormalities like Brogada syndrome or arrhythmogenic RV dysplasia. An ECG is a simple yet powerful tool to assess the heart function. But at the same time, a normal ECG does not rule out a heart attack or other diseases if the disease is quite early stage. If the disease is advanced, the ECG remains a quite predictable and powerful tool. So, if the person had a heart attack, we do not entirely rely upon ECG, but we also look at high sensitive troponin. If the patient has got a heart muscle problem, then apart from ECG, we would rely upon an echocardiogram or a cardiac MRI. Similarly, if the patient has got a valve heart problem, we do rely upon an echocardiogram apart from an ECG. So, ECG is a powerful tool in advanced disease, but in early disease the, that could be used as an adjunct to the other tests.